You guys gave up only 12.7 points a game last year. Coach Kelly said, if you look at it from a full 11 players, even losing a guy like Manti, this team could be better defensively than last year. What are some of the areas that you're making improvements on? And how did last year set the bar uh, to get you ready and motivate you for this season? Uh, well, a lot of guys have a lot more experience, and there's a lot more experience across the board. Um, on the defense, you have you know, the majority of the linebackers coming back, three of the four DBs coming back, Austin's healthy. He would have been you know, the next man in, and then Lowe would have been a starter last year. So uh, there's a lot of guys who have had a lot of uh, snaps under their belt coming back. I and mean, there's guys back from injury, and everyone knows what the expectation is now um, that we're trying to reach, and everyone's seen it and, and had a taste of it. So, um, and you have that many people who are, who are back who have the experience um, and are able to perform at that high level, uh, whether the starter, or the, you know, the next guy in. Um, the sky's the limit. Up. Can you think back to this time last year, you had no experience. Yeah. Kavari never really played defensive back at all, and Bennett hasn't played much. Because how is it just so much different knowing what to do now and you know, just the experience of having well, Yeah, well, what a difference a year makes, um, especially as a secondary. Just uh, like I said earlier, just, just getting experience with those guys and then um, everyone seeing what the standard is and then – working to achieve that standard and keeping everyone accountable and last year, you know, trial by fire or whatever you want to call it. Um, but having arguably five guys, six guys who could start back uh, in the secondary, it's a uh, um, it makes for a lot more competition uh, you know, every day in practice and all that. And it also, uh, it's it's easy because everyone knows what they're doing. There's, there's not really a huge drop off when it comes to the communication. Can you think back to when they approached you about making the switch and then you look at the depth chart and you see all those names up on you and it seemed, I would assume, a big mountain to climb and now starting to save it. Yeah, I was excited to switch. You know, I. Uh, I, was, I only played two years of high school football, so it wasn't like I was set in my ways uh, either on either side of the ball. So uh, when they told me they wanted me to switch, I had no reservations. You know, there's a lot of people on top of me, too, and the offensive side of the ball. So um, it's, it's definitely crazy to me to, to think back on how it all happened, but uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. From being in the secondary, what have you seen from freshman school, specifically the nickel? Uh, He's done an awesome job. You know, that's a that's a very very high pressure situation because you're in man to man coverage the majority of the time, or you're having to you know do different kind of drops that aren't necessarily easy to pick up, especially as a freshman. So uh, it's been it's been awesome, honestly, to see him you know go out there and just play real fast. And if you look at him and if you look at you know how he's done so far, you wouldn't think he was just a freshman.